Uh, hey, this is Robbie from Contortionist, and you're watching Groovy TV. <laughs> hey, this is Groovy from Colorado Music Buzz and Hollywood Music TV. I'm with Robbie from the Contortionist. I totally fucked that up. <laughs> Started over. <laughs> Way too many syllables after a Guinness and a Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Groovy from Colorado Music Buzz and Hollywood Music TV. I'm here with Robbie from The Contortionist here at the Marquee Theater in Denver, Colorado. How's it going, man? Great. Yeah? Yeah. Right on. How's this tour treating you? Uh, it's draining, draining me so much, but <laughs> it's the most fun tour I've ever been on. Really? Definitely, yeah. So you like you having tons of cool like experiences and fun? And it's just the shows have all been. Great shows. Uh, the periphery dudes are all really awesome. Nice. All of the dudes are really awesome. Human abstract textures. Great dudes. So, what's the craziest city so far? Um, hmm. I don't know. Day one in Maryland was pretty crazy. Really? Yeah. That was just nuts? Yeah. Not, well. Not so much for us. I mean, they were into it for sure, but right. there wasn't as much uh, injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving some injuries behind you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. So, uh, uh, tell me about the album. What's uh, what's all going on with that? Uh, the last one or the new one? The new one. The new one. Always the new one. Uh, where's sort of writing right now I guess it's kind of mm -hmm. hard because we're on tour uh, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> we'll be in the studio in February uh, at Audio Hammer with uh, E.L. from the D Doth or Dath or however you say his band's name I'm not sure uh, and then Doth yeah, yeah. Yeah. Matt's an expert on pretty much everything metal yeah, but they're sick by the way <laughs> but uh, yeah he'll be, he'll be producing it and uh, it'll be just fucking awesome yeah, just so awesome. Well, his last album was pretty freaking sweet. You gotta be proud of that thing. Yeah, it was alright. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. Mr. Modesty. Alright. <laughs> He's been on the road for like 12 days, so we're trying to squeeze every bit of personality out of him we can. <laughs> It's gonna happen. We're getting Guinness and Jameson for this, so we're gonna do the interview again at Scruffy. So it'll be all right. Take two. <laughs> oh no, we don't edit these things. We just fuck with people constantly. <laughs> but didn't you have like a special edition of the uh, last album just come out? But yeah, we had a picture disc vinyl. That That's awesome. Out. Yeah, we actually have some here tonight. Really? Uh, if you guys want to check them out. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, like, with the vinyl and everything, is there like extra songs or anything? Like, nah, same. Same track listing, mm -hmm. just uh, it's on a vinyl, so it doesn't sound quite as good, but it looks cool. So. <laughs> well, if it doesn't sound quite as good, it actually sounds better because vinyl's pretty badass. Yeah, and it, it actually, it actually like it's weird because it's. I, I listened to one the other day, and it's just a different like experience, like listening to the album. Like I don't know, it just sounds different. It's weird. Yeah. Even though there's like no low end or anything, but it's a different experience. It's yeah. just bizarre. Yeah. Now, wh wh what about the artwork on the uh, special edition? What's where'd that come from? I think it's the same artwork, just on vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I did see a package deal, so get the package deal because the album does freaking rule. Yeah, there's a shirt. There's a sweet shirt. A that sweet shirt. Well, I don't know. Uh, it's a twenty-five dollar package. I'll just sell it. It's a twenty-five dollar package. You get the album, you get the shirt. This guy comes over and bakes the omelets, and um, I, think, I think he teaches you how to ride a unicycle. Yeah, <laughs> all for twenty-five. Bucks. And there's a download code. Oh, that's right. Along with the unicycle and <laughs> chef skills and the chef skills. Right on. So where are you guys going after this tour? Uh, we're doing Australia in November, mm -hmm. and then and then we're done for this year, I guess. Very cool. I think plan for 2012. Uh, we have uh, the first tour of the year already set. Um, 
I don't, I don't know if I can say what it is quite yet. Okay. Uh, sure. But it'll be like right after we get out of the studio. So it's gonna be like, it's, life's gonna just be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> the ridiculous life is always what's good, man. Yeah. Now, do you possibly have a goal for the new album when it'll be released? Uh, I don't really know like a release date, but we definitely have lots of goals as far as just uh, not making mistakes that we made on the last record. Just not mistakes, but we just learned a lot of things from doing that record. So. Right on. Is there any wisdom that you learned that record you could pass along to other bands right now? That the most yes. We won't do that. Uh, are you guys musicians at all? Mm-hmm. So maybe you'll understand this. I, I've been in a ton of shitty punk bands that no one has ever heard of. All right. <clears throat> don't don't tune your six strings down to the tuning that we're in because it's just stupid. Don't do that. <laughs> No, when, when are your tunings? What, what, what uh, are it's on right now. It's on six strings, uh, drop A flat and A sharp standard, which is just stupid low. Jesus. But we're actually switching to seven strings. So. Okay. I, I believe that we're switching to seven strings. So. Yeah, that's a, that's a wicked freaking tuning. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what we were thinking. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> but it sounds awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's kind of muddy sometimes. But. Right on. All right, man. Well, there's one last question. Yep. It's brutal. It'll leave you crying and shaking in your sleep. Oh, God. Yeah. In your entire career, what is the worst thing you've ever eaten on the road ever? Uh, oh, God. Uh, a couple nights ago, actually, in Boise, Idaho, I ate some homemade hot dogs. <laughs> or not hot dogs. I'm sorry. I'm very tired. Homemade tacos with like homemade meat and beans and stuff. And uh, I have, I had what we would like to call fire butt for <laughs> probably a good two days. <laughs> so they were good fire butt tacos. Yeah. <laughs> Notice the sleepy face. <laughs> now we know where it came from. <laughs> Too much fire butt. <laughs> the life of a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you, dude. Right on. It's Groovy from Colorado Music Buzz and Hollywood Music TV. I'm here with Robbie from the Contortionist here at the Marquee Theater, Denver, Colorado. And we're going to go drink some Guinness now. Fuck yeah. Whoa!